So, hi, uh, my name is Moses Lucero, and this is my piece, uh, The Raddest Girl. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Before you, I was used to girls whose maintenance was high, but you, you were a plain Jane who could maintain her beauty without makeup or jewelry. You always had nerve awkwardness and wasn't very talkative. Now, don't take it as derogative when I say I found that a positive. I knew it wasn't because you didn't have much to say. I knew it was the other way around, and your thoughts were abound, but you wouldn't make a sound because you were just shy. And I was hoping to be the guy that you'd open up to, and I was willing to jump hoops and take gut wounds to love you because you were more down to earth than gravity, and I just wanted to be with you happily. You see, you were sweet as Betty Crocker, tried to talk her down gently, but you see, it was me who was falling and being more than friendly. And now it's the nights when we were calling and the emojis that you'd send me. I didn't want it to end, but you gave it an ending. You see, I was all in, and your feelings were still pending. Now, at first, I didn't mind my love was unrequited. I hope your spark would ignite if I gave you enough space and time to find peace of mind when I'm beside you. And I wish I was being lied to when you said you still didn't feel the same way that I do. But I had a stained past, hoping for a fairy tale ending on the stained glass, but the window pane smashed as you stole my beating heart and the blood from my veins splashed like Jackson Pollock art. So basically, I knew it was the end when you asked for a fresh start and just wanted to be friends. But me, I still wanted to pretend because I couldn't let that happen again. Now, I'm not lovesick, I'm you sick, and all I have to remember you was the music you gave me and I played on repeat to repeat in my mind the time when things were fine between us. I'm not a genius because you played me like a dummy or a puppet with some strings attached that I latched instantly, but her feelings mismatched, giving me a feeling of futility. I'm not trying to make you the enemy. To be honest, you were the sweetest melody. It's hard not to feel devilish losing something so heavenly. I'm sorry. That's all I'd say to you, because I was afraid to do anything that would offend you potentially. Love is in the air, the stench of reeks, polluting my memories of you and me is what I dreamed lucidly until I was brutally awakened by the reality of the situation that a relationship set sail. And when you hightailed your way out of my life, I'm gonna be honest, I will cry nights, because you proved that we were finite. And now miss the days where you were the highlight. Something must be wrong with my eyesight, because it's hard to see a world without you. In the back of my mind's like, dude, just get a new girl who's bound to. Falling in love, hey Kanye. But when I see you in the hallway, you catch my attention with your complexion. And I see more than just this beauty physically, I see your previous history. And it all comes back, because you were a hard act to follow. We found each other when we were hollow, and you filled me with jubilee. A girl like you was new to me, truthfully. I've never loved a girl up until then, and I still went, and I tried to do the same for you. But when my feelings came through, you remained confused, and that pain it bruised. And left scars on my atrium when I waited and stayed patient. That succumbed to frustration, because your feelings were still latent. But I mean, it's not your fault for what it's worth. And you didn't want to keep seeing me hurt, but it, you barely even started when you departed, and you carved into where my heart is. And despite how brief it may be, it made me improve as a human greatly. Stay, please. Even if it's just my daydreams. Because now, words unspoken will always be a fantasy. I never said I love you because I knew you wouldn't answer me. And unbeknownst, what hurts the most is you're going to latch on to your perfect match and catch all the feelings that I did. And you're going to spend time with and confide in. And you're going to be the one they're always talking to. And you get to do all the things we never got to do. But most importantly, you're going to fall in love with them, and it won't be me. But now, it's the aftermath. You can choose to cry or have a laugh. I mean, it's okay to be sad for a while, but, you know, don't forget to smile, because it's not the end of the world. But somewhere deep down, you'll always be the raddest girl.